What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today we are going through this week's weekly update. Yes, I know it's Wednesday, but yesterday we had so much information about the new update that will be coming to Red Dead Online next Friday. I kind of forgot about this, so that is why we're doing it today. And I will not be taking too much of your time as there isn't too much in here anyway. As I've said before, over the last couple of updates, we've got no legendary bounties, we've got no content for Outlaw Pass, and this is the end of this part of this update because we're getting more next week. So the first thing is that clothing items that has been a part of the Frontier Pursuits update are now being recycled back into this week's update. So now you can go over to the Wheeler, Rawson & Co catalog and you'll be able to find yourself an Eberhardt coat, rugged burkskin, carver pants, Cardozo vest and there's a lot of other items in there as well. It will take quite a bit of time if I was to name all of them. It also states here that you will be able to find yourself within the mix of these items a Covington hat as well as pattern bandana. These are things that have been in in this game for quite some time but it does say that they are gonna get a refresh with this season coming up as it is now Christmas time. This week if you are focusing on the collector sets you need to complete the Ace of Swords, the Grand Carranza Madeira and the 1800 gold dollar and that will complete the Gambler's Choice collection. On top of that if you're more into the free aim and PvP there is a free aim mode this week which is called Make It Count. As for bonuses and benefits this is where the real chunk of text is for this update as there isn't anything else they can really do. So for this week all posse leaders will receive a complimentary treasure map just this week while players looking to rank up will also receive an additional 40% on pretty much everything this week so that's the free roam events free roam missions bounty missions trader resupply missions a land of opportunity missions showdown modes and also races those looking to form a band of merry misfits can take 50% off the cost of setting up a persistent posse as well as 30% off race horses and horse tack the option to change appearance which is found within the player menu is also discounted by 30% and gunslingers can take 30% off gun belts and weapon metals. And what's been said for the whole of this update is if you link your Twitch Prime to Social Club you'll get the Bounty Hunter license for free if you still haven't claimed that and if you have claimed that and looking for more you'll get an additional 10% off the discount which I just listed. But I assume with most of the things within this update you're probably not that bothered because the real information we got yesterday about there being a completely new role being added to this game. So what I would suggest just because we have just just over a week until this new role drops, you do need to be rank 5 as a trader or you must sell something as a trader. So if you haven't already, if you're new to the game and you haven't gone into that role as of yet, definitely get into that role because it unlocks the very next role. So make sure you're getting the most amount of XP for whatever it is you're doing within the trader. Make sure you get to rank 5 or at least make sure you sell something as a trader. But anyway guys, leave it in the comments down below or what else do you guys think we'll be getting with next week's update? Do you think it's going to be this role as well as some seasonal changes or do you think there's going to be even more stuff to add leave all your thoughts in the comments down below but anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going so see ya